You get a sexy bug, you get a Nazi bug, you get a gangster bug, you get a mayor bug, you get a soldier bug in the bad times, you get a tiny bug in the good times. Oh, buggy boy, buggy boy, buggy boy. <laughs> Metamorphosis is a surreal puzzle game inspired by Franz Kafka's work. The game was produced by Ovid Works, an independent Polish video game studio based in Warsaw. The plot is a bit of Kafka's Metamorphosis and a little bit of The Judgment, if you want to read up on those, by the way. Kafka's work is public comments and can be downloaded for free. You can find the link in the liner notes of this video. Anyways, we wake up as Gregor Samsa, but something is not quite right and we soon discover that we turned into a bug. These aren't the legs I'm used to. I know this sounds ludicrous, but can it be that I'm a bug? On our way to our dear friend Joseph, who might be able to help us, we find out that Joseph is equally in a bind as some weird policeman tried to arrest him without telling him anything about the charges. I didn't mean anything wrong. Didn't Franz tell you to stay in your room? Meanwhile, a weird organization called Tower promises us to turn us back into a human if only we help them with a few errands. But to get to Tower in the first place, we have to traverse through human living rooms and wondrous bug locations. The gameplay is quite simple, as Gregor, we walk, run and jump through different locations, have to overcome hurdles and sometimes can even use sticky substances to walk vertically along surfaces. Oh, this liquid should help me climb up. We solve puzzles which are relatively easy once you figured out how they are structured. That might be a little bit of a bummer for anyone who wanted challenging experiences, but to be honest, the game itself is such a delight that it shouldn't hinder you from enjoying it in all its glory. The only negative thing that I experienced was a mild motion sickness, so anyone who suffers from it as well, especially in video games, is advised to take breaks between chapters. The real genius of Metamorphosis lies in the imagery and the world building. Every environment is wondrous detail and feels like a weird Gregor Samsa in Wonderland fever dream. We meet numerous bugs that create a big bug society, including sailors, mayors, gangsters, and even some mysterious femme fatales. <laughs> There are oodles and oodles of dialogues to listen to and take part in. Some might be a bit repetitive, but the writing all in all is pretty amazing considering that at times you overhear conversations from humans in the background that go on and on and on without repeating themselves. You just keep asking questions, don't you? Yes, the translation might be a bit wonky occasionally and there's some awkward dialogues at times, but since the game is a fun romp anyways, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> ah yes, the humor. Metamorphosis will offer you a massive amount of bug and insect related puns and side gags, from soldier bugs with walnut hats to Buck Dylan, who will sing your rendition of one of his greatest hits. How many roads must a bug walk down before you call him a bug? How many seas must a white widow sail before she sleeps in the sand? Even though the story is pretty linear, you can solve puzzles in different ways, do some minor side missions, collect or rather crash a weird collectible and explore the bigger locations. I would say Metamorphosis is therefore a great game for any replay because there are so many different things to see, listen to and do that it seems impossible to experience everything on your first playthrough. The plot seemed quite simple at first and appeared to mostly sidestep Kafka's rather depressing views on capitalism and corruption, but the further you're into the game, the more you realize how many stories revolve around the absurdity of bureaucracy, corrupt politicians, absurd societal standards and a dangerous political system that keeps the weaker citizens in check. <laughs> It's a pretty impressive feat to create a game that is so fun, colorful and silly but simultaneously does invoke Kafka's The Judgment as well as other novels about the ridiculous nature of evil systems like Nabokov's Ben Sinister for example. This is also a game that works for kids, maybe not too young but 12 and up should be fine and might even be a great way to introduce them to Kafka's literature as well as some political history. 
but you know, it doesn't have to. You can just enjoy it for what it is without the homework. If you like to just stumble into a weird world of bugs, enjoy puns and don't need difficult puzzles to have fun with a wildly imaginative game, I had a blast. What's that? This room is bizarre. What's with this furniture? If I don't go out soon, I'll be late for work.